from Bigfoot peeking through the windows to mutated octopuses and even some creepy night crawlers caught on security cameras. Let's delve into each mystery one by one today. For years, people have been thinking that Bigfoots only belong to the world of myths. But as this clip was recorded by a camera and later uploaded on YouTube, it had everyone wondering if the Bigfoots were actually real. The clip shows a dark creature in the middle of the night coming so close to the window and sneaking a peek inside. The small eyes, the big head, and the dark skin covered with hair make it perfectly fit the definition of a Bigfoot. According to the owner of the house, this was the first and the last time that they spotted the creature, and they were so shocked by what they were seeing that they couldn't get out of the house the whole night, thinking it would still be nearby. I have to say that the eyes of the creature are something which gives it such a realistic look. It might be the real deal. But I do have to wonder, how come someone just happened to have a camera recording at just the right time? Was the owner sure that someone is watching them and left a camera recording? Recorded somewhere in Russia, this 15 seconds long video gave the world another concrete evidence of the existence of the creatures known as Bigfoots. The man who recorded it all said it was the most terrifying experience of his whole life. He was on his way to collect some wood logs when he started hearing heavy footsteps nearby. Scared, he hid behind the tree waiting to see what it was, and this is what he recorded, a gigantic creature walking not so far from the man in the woods. Unlike the previous clip, this creature had rather brownish hair on its body, or it could be due to the trees which it was behind. The creature had a man-like appearance and walk, but was too huge to be one, making us all think it was a Bigfoot. It wouldn't be possible for an average human to look this gigantic. Could this be a costume made this way, or is this the real deal? What do you think? This picture was captured in June 2021 and features an octopus with a lot more legs than one would expect. After all, the name octopus comes from octo, meaning eight, titled as the mutant octopus. The photograph went viral over the internet, where everyone had their own theories as to what could have exactly happened to this octopus. For some, it was due to humans dumping toxic wastes into the water that has caused this animal a mutation and ruined its life. And for others, it was a result of a random mutation. However, with no response from the experts, nothing could be said for sure. But I do have to wonder, deep in the dark oceans, are there any gigantic creatures with so many tentacles? Recorded and uploaded a couple of years ago, this clip serves as the ultimate testament to a mother's love. The chicken, with not just its own babies, but some goslings as well, gets alert as it sees a cobra sneaking up to it. At first, it tried making the cobra leave without coming near the babies, but the snake wasn't so easy to handle. As it slithers closer and closer to the little chicks, the mother knew she had to leave with all the little ones and get somewhere safer. One by one, Little by little, she got all the little ones out of the danger zone and tried her best to keep the cobra away from attacking even a single one of the babies, all the while making sure she herself does not get bit. It looks like no big deal to us, maybe, but the way the chicken stood up in front of a potential enemy who could easily devour it was something only a mother can do, and I am for sure impressed by her courage and skill. Known as the night crawlers, or also the cryptids, creatures of Mexican folklore, have gained so much popularity online that it's joined the ranks of Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and the Mothman. And this clip records not just one, but two of these descending down a hill. Fortunately, captured by a camera mounted nearby in Yosemite Lakes Park in 2011. When uploaded on the internet, this clip had everyone in shock 
and wondering if the Nightcrawlers were actually real. This video is what sparked the rise of speculation over the cryptid, inspiring many people on YouTube to discuss legend. To some, the video looked real and to others, it looked edited and altered for the sole purpose of pranking others. To me, the video looks like an edited one, but if you consider it being so old, editing of the clips was not as efficient as it is now, so that would mean there is a little chance of it being real too. The owners of this cabin thought it would be enough to lock the wooden door while going out to prevent burglars or animals from entering. However, this bear had other plans in its mind. It knocked down the door so that it could enter the cabin. After it was done opening the door in the most violent way, it entered and investigated a little bit without going overboard. A few seconds inside, we can see that the bear was still standing near the door and was not interested in causing any more damage to the cabin, as it had already done enough. The video ended right there, so we could not know if the bear was still standing there waiting for the owners to come back. As this man heard some noise coming from his front door, he went to check what it was and found this little fawn standing at the door looking straight towards him. At first, the man thought maybe the baby needs some help or has gotten lost or something, but seeing that its ears weren't curled or anything, which little deer do when they are scared or in need of help. The man knew it wasn't lost, and probably its mother was nearby, so he did not mess with it. An orphaned fawn will quickly develop signs of distress indicating that it's in trouble. Dehydration will be visible within a day or so, and is indicated by curling of the ears, ruffling of the fur, and dulling of the eyes, so this meant the baby was all fine and healthy, and there was nothing to worry about. The man closed the door hoping its mother would return soon or call for it to come back and the baby would then be safe with its mama. There are people who take their hobbies to the next level, but then there are people who take things they love to such extremes that they sometimes end up risking their own lives. Take this clip for instance. This man was swimming under a thick layer of ice all over the lake with the help of his friends. His goal was to get in the water from one spot where they had created an opening and then swim to the next spot where his other friend was waiting for him. But as he started swimming and was about to reach the second opening, he lost the sense of direction and was left stranded under the thick layer of ice for a few moments. Until he realized he could use the rope he had to get back to the initial spot that he got inside the water from. And that's how he got out all safe and sound. It looks like one terrifying experience to me. This man saw a fish right on the shore, and he saw that the fish had a little life left in it. So he tried helping, and gave it a little push so that it can go back into the lake and get the oxygen and water it needs. Little did he know, or the fish knew, a gator was right near them, waiting for the right moment to attack. As soon as the man backed off after pushing the fish in the water, the gator attacked and ate the whole fish in one go, leaving the man and whoever was with him terrified to the core. What if for one second, we imagined that the gator was after them, and not the fish? It could have ended up really badly. This ring camera recorded a sweet and hilarious scene when a bear is spotted coming up to the front door of this house. The woman got an alert saying someone was at the door and it was 5.30 in the morning. She woke up all worried, wondering who it could be so early. And then she saw this. The bear at first investigated the doormat for a few moments until he decided that it could be the ultimate sleeping rug for it and slept on it, later changing the position and sleeping exactly like how my cat does. The bear slept there like it was the safest place on earth and where it could sleep with no danger ever touching it. These three friends were on their way in the middle of the night when they spotted someone walking by the roadside. As they drove past him, 
It took them seconds to realize it wasn't a real man. According to one of the friends, it could be a hitchhiker. But the way it walked, and the way his head was not so symmetrical, and his appearance. They could tell it was not a normal person. Plus, what would someone be doing in the middle of the night, right? He wasn't even signaling them to stop. He just kept walking the creepiest way possible. Moreover, take a look at his legs. They look all twisted, but he does not indicate to struggle walking. So to have another look, they turned the car around and went towards the same route to see who he was, but to their surprise, there was no sign of a human being there at all, leaving them scared and shocked by what they had just witnessed. According to many people, it could be a shapeshifter in the form of a hitchhiker looking for people who stop to give a lift and become his victims. And I cannot agree more. Recorded by a security camera in 2021, this clip recorded a family coming back from somewhere and going inside their house after locking the gate and everything. As they are inside, moments pass and we see a big bear and a small one taking a stroll on the same path and going down the hill just from where the family came. Everything appears to be normal until now with no sign of any kind of chaos or anything. But after a few minutes, the woman comes out of the house with a bag in her hand and goes down the hill where the bears just went to. And as expected, she comes running back towards the house and somehow manages to lock the door and get inside the house safely, just as the bears are about to reach her. Thankfully, this did not end up as a tragedy, but a close call only. Have you ever struggled to park your car? How about parking a plane? This clip shows a plane, which came crashing onto the ground. But thankfully, the pilot had deployed the parachute at the right moment, and hence it did not end up badly. It was a father-daughter excursion that nearly ended in a disaster. The man was piloting with his daughter inside, and the plane lost engine power about 2,000 feet in the sky. The aircraft also managed to crash in an open place, so it did not damage any buildings or any other things as well. Talk about a lucky day. There are times when little adventures on the water turn into something terrifying. Take this clip for instance. It was all going well until a giant crocodile started attacking the tube the men were on. They were in the Nile River in Uganda, which is considered to be one of the highest concentration places of crocs. Thankfully, the men were professionals and knew how to deal with the situation. They took their paddles and smashed them again and again to where they thought the croc was. And fortunately, it made the croc give up after a bit and move away from the men and the tube they were on. A South African golf course got out a whole lot trickier after an angry cobra invaded the green and started wreaking havoc as seen in an Instagram video that went viral. In the video, a massive Cape Cobra, one of Africa's deadliest snakes, can be seen slithering onto the course with its hood flared out in an aggressive posture. We can even see a mongoose in the background, watching the cobra get all angry on the golfers and taking over the golf course. The cobra was later caught and released back into the wild by the authorities later, but for that whole day, the snake terrified the golfers so much that the whole course was closed for everyone and no one played golf that day. On the afternoon of 3 July 2019, a violent explosive event affected the entire crater terrace of Stromboli Volcano in southern Italy, generating two pyroclastic flows that advanced across the sea beyond the coastline. The clip was recorded by a woman on a boat and then later uploaded on the internet. It has gained about 12 million views till today and continues to shock people by the massive impact the eruption had and the exact moment how it started. However, one more thing people on YouTube could not help but admire was the excellent job of staying calm and steadily recording by woman. Timing was incredible. 
I'm sure volcanologists across the globe will want a copy for history for study. This clip was recorded in 2019, and it shows a woman standing on the corner of the house seeing the coyote wandering around in the backyard. The coyote went towards the backside, and moments later we saw two little kids coming towards the same spot. As they are involved in investigating the area, considering the curious nature the kids mostly have, they are unaware of a potentially dangerous animal so close to them. The coyote spots the little girl and runs straight towards her. But thankfully, instead of dragging the little one with it, the animal runs off only after giving the kid a little warning of how dangerous it could have been. And all this happened while the woman who knew about the coyote was still standing there with no reaction to it at all. Neither did she try to stop the kids from going there, nor did she run to help the poor kid. Talk about an irresponsible adult. This occurred in Yellowstone Park, where a park ranger was charged by a grizzly bear. And then later the ranger is seen shooting bullets at the bear. The bear ran off, but I couldn't help but see that the bear's paw was injured, maybe because it was not putting it on the ground and was running on three legs. The video had many people blaming the man for shooting at the bear. However, the ranger from this incident commented on what happened in a different short. He said that people were harassing the bear and not respecting proper bear safety procedures in national parks. He said the bear's paw was injured from fighting another bear. He was firing shots to scare the bear away for the bear's own safety. They caught and collared the bear a few weeks later, and the bear is fine. It will not be wrong to call cats the ultimate bosses of the animals, because when they need to, these cats can stand up to every kind of enemy, no matter how big and how strong. Take this clip, for instance. This cat is all ready to sneak up on the bear who is coming towards it. At first, it looked like it might end up in some kind of small duel, and that the bear will do something too. But the way the cat moved towards the bear, it left the bear with no option but to climb up the tree in the quickest way possible to save its life. And the cat comes back as if it had won the ultimate championship or something. Recorded in 2014, in a mortuary, this clip terrified anyone and everyone who saw it. As soon as it was uploaded on YouTube, it gained thousands of views, scaring everyone to the core. And I don't blame them. Even to me, it looks quite scary. With the dead body of a person left behind, it can be very clearly seen how his soul left his body. While to some people, it was just an edited video and there was nothing real about it. To others, it was the ultimate proof of the existence of the soul and the afterlife. A wildlife enthusiast in Vancouver, in British Columbia, decided to set up a trail camera to investigate a deer carcass to see if it would attract any animals at nighttime, just yards from her house, only to find this terrifying picture. The wildlife cam reveals two scantily clad women squatting beside the carcass. Their faces are covered with long black hair. What's really horrifying is one of the women seems to be reaching for the carcass with long webbed fingers. These pictures have caused a wave of speculation and even some have suggested that it could be witches or even worse, walking demons. Were they feasting on the carcass? The picture becomes more sinister when we spot a man's boot next to one of the women. Although the man's upper body can't be seen, it is weird that he is there. What could be his association with the two uncanny women? Could it be that the women were being forced to do this by that man? Or could the man be one of them and also wouldn't mind taking a bite? When I saw the boots of the man, Surrounded by these crazy women, I could only think of the ritualistic cult of Charles Manson. Is this something similar in our days? A 
a TikToker who posts videos of strange events happening around her home, was startled at the sound she heard while putting her chicks away in the pen. What the fuck? The sound coming from the forest was like an animal's cry for help. And so she shined her torchlight into the woods while recording. She captures a white figure next to a tree. At first glance, it wasn't there, but when she circled back to look in the same direction, her camera was able to capture a thin white figure at the left side of a tree. The strangest thing was that the figure disappeared after being out of the camera's recording range. Could it be that the mysterious white figure was making those eerie sounds in the forest? Or could it have scared an animal in the woods and caused it to make the bizarre sounds? On a clear day, a man happens to capture what looks like Bigfoot casually walking out through a small clearing of a forest and back into the woods. The creature's features may prove it to be Bigfoot as it walks on twos and appears much more prominent than the average human height. Its arms extend downwards below the waistline and seem to have a thick coat of brown fur. The video quality isn't as clear and makes it hard to make out what the face looks like, but its tall towering stature, long ape-like arms, and the appearance of thick fur could be an indication of the existence of the cryptid Bigfoot. A woman enjoying the comfort of her home on a sofa happens to see something strange at the window right next to her door that sends chills down her spine. A dark figure appears at the window also captures the attention of two of her dogs, who stare at the door, putting the lady's nerves on edge. She starts to record it, and the dark figure disappears after some time. The dogs disperse, notifying the lady that the supposed danger that appeared on her door may be gone, but it leaves the lady puzzled as to what this figure could be, and its intentions. For all we know, it could be a shadow of a harmless animal walking around and happening to wind up at her front door. Or maybe something sinister could be lurking around stalking on the house residence. Two kids were recording their adventure while in the woods when they heard screams coming from deeper within. The scream started as a faint cry for help, but as they walked deeper into the forest, they grew louder as though someone was desperately trying to escape an ordeal. At first, they think it is some children trying to summon demons by shouting. To them, it appears to be some kind of a joke, but the louder the screams got, the scarier they became. Eventually, they near where their screams were. They panic, and they decide to retreat from the forest into a nearby grassland. Even after distancing from the scene, they could still hear the desperate cries for help from the forest. The kids might have presumed it to be a joke, but maybe something serious could be happening, and a victim needed help. I think it would be best if the kids could have dialed and reported to the authorities. This wildlife enthusiast was taking a nature walk in the middle of the forest when he caught it all with his camera. There when he zooms his camera, the creature comes into view. It is in a hunched position, making it hard to recognize its face. It has a towering height and covered with thick brown fur. It notices it is being watched and tries to hide between the branches. As the video continues, the creature struts away, leaving the witness speculated. Maybe this could be an ordinary orangutan that could be easily mistaken with the legendary Bigfoot. This polar bear in Russia appeared at the front of a man's house. To the man's surprise, it wasn't acting in a ferocious manner as expected of one. Rather, it was as if it was asking for something. He decides to take a closer look, and it seems a can was stuck on the polar bear's tongue and needed help removing it. 
He tries to pull it with his hands, but the can appears to be lodged too deeply to make much of a difference. The bear had to be for sure having some pain, and even maybe it had gone days without food. Out of pity, the man decides to call for help, and animal specialists come to the bear's aid. They are able to retrieve the can, and they even place the bear back to its habitat. A polar bear would likely never approach humans like this, but I am assuming that this was a result of how desperate she was for help and how weak she was from hunger. In this clip, a young couple are visited by an unexpected visitor who constantly was knocking the door and trying to forcefully enter. Their dog barks, putting them on high alert that this could be a potential threat. They are scared to the bones, but the man decides to make a bold move. He turns on the lights on the stairs and starts to walk down towards the door to check out what could be making these ominous noises at their door. As he nears the door, the knocking noises suddenly stop. He tries to inquire who it is, Hello? but there is no answer. Suddenly, without warning, it appears as if the mysterious being manages to enter and video ends while the man flees from the imminent danger. Could this be a malevolent spirit known to cause disturbances in households? Or somebody dangerous could be terrorizing them? Imagine being all alone in a forest in the middle of the night and you suddenly get the gut feeling you are being watched. Well, this curious man was not new to this when he encountered something really strange in the woods. Upon spotting something with his flashlight, he decides to record it. When he zooms on the figure, there, it reveals itself. A gray ghost entity appears right next to a tree, just right beside the path. The person in this clip might have a story to tell as horror unravels in front of their eyes. The ghost-like entity appears to be slowly rising up, exposing more of its pale structure. It has elongated arms that stretch below its supposed waistline. Its face isn't clearly seen, but it has taken a humanoid form. I think this is some type of cryptid, or worse, it could be the infamous Skinwalker. What would you do when faced with such a figure that looks to be straight out of a horror film? This clip shows a mountain lion covered in snow, stuck atop a rock ledge. There are three dogs, all with trackers on their necks, baying the mountain lion up the side of the rock. Although it's hard to tell, the mountain lion is pretty massive. It's puffed up to look larger, but it is still thick and well muscled. It is unable to make a move since it is surrounded by the three dogs, which seem to alert the owner of its presence. Their barks and uneasy movements may indicate that they are alert on the mountain lion presence and seem to be warning the owner. The mountain lion appears to be calm and only keeps opening its mouth. Mountain lions have been known to ambush livestock and human settlement, and this dogs courageously seem to have chased it away and cornered it. With a mountain lion as big as the one in the clip, it's a good thing that it didn't turn and attack. It probably would have made short work of those dogs. A man walking in the forest stumbles upon a strange sight that is worth a shot. He captures a tall, huge figure standing at the top of the sloped forest. At first, we only see the figure's tall, towering stature but when it faces the camera direction, we are able to make out some of the figure's features. It appears to walk like a human, but it has an abnormal height. It has a relatively small head in relation to the body and tall, lanky, long arms. We are not able to make out whether the figure had fur on its body. One might say it is a human with a large costume, trying to cause a speculation, but this figure is a truly a remarkable one, and it could be a rare sighting of the Bigfoot. In the dead of night, a man and his daughter caught something watching them in the grasslands. 
as they shine their light into the dark, they happen to see two shiny objects that look like shining orbs. As soon as they move around, we can easily see that is a creature of some sort, and the glowing eyes could be actually stalking on them. The man notifies the creature that they know it is there. I see you. But it responds by drifting away. Perhaps it could be an animal who happened to pass by. And its attention was caught by the people in the grasslands. Or something else that we don't know of and likes to walk around in the middle of the night stalking people. In this clip, a bulldog shows great courage when it comes face to face with a mountain lion. The clip begins as the dog appears to be scratching something off a tree. The dog catches the scent of something unusual and lifts its nose to figure out what it is. In the far back of the camera, two eyes of a mountain lion are seen keeping a close eye on the dog as if waiting for the perfect moment to pounce on its prey. It moves away from the camera, and the lion starts to closely follow back. As the lion moves into attack, the dog takes notice and counters, scaring the lion and chasing it away. A trail camera, in the middle of the day, catches these two male reindeers going head to head in an all-out battle. They lock horns, each trying to exhaust the other. One of them appears to be younger, since its horns haven't developed as much. The reason for their fight is unknown. Maybe it could be for the privilege to mate with a do, or it could be they are fighting for dominance. Either way, the reason seems to be motivating enough, as both don't want to give up. The fight goes on until something catches their attention. This seemed to stop their fight as none of them attack the other and they both went their separate ways. This ghoulish animal in the video was caught off the Malaysian coast by fisherman Anwar Pak Tam, and though it looks like an eel, it's something else entirely. It is elongated, having a wide mouth with sharp teeth at the front and dorsal fins coming out of its sides. What's weird is that the creature seems to have no eyes. Some people speculated the creature to be a sea monster, but in fact, it is a type of eel called the eel goby. Eel gobies are a subfamily of elongated mud. They have greatly reduced eyes and large mouths. However, the one in the clip appears to be very large for an eel goby, as most of them are smaller in size and can sometimes be found in groups. They can be pink, red, or purple in color. They are carnivorous, as some are seen being fed the claw of a crab. As scary as it looks, they are common in muddy coastal areas. In a small grassland within the forest, a man happens to record a bizarre creature lurking around. It can be seen casually walking, going deeper into the woods. The creature is covered with black fur and its height resembles that of a human. It walks bipedally, taking long steps. See how its arms are elongated, surpassing the normal range. I am not sure if it could be a man in a suit, but the figure totally resembles a Bigfoot. This is one of the best footage we have about Bigfoot. The footage perfectly reveals the creature. It stands out amongst the trees and has thick brown fur covering its entire body. The size of this creature is terrifying, as one doesn't usually see creatures like this on a normal day. It appears to have taken notice of the man recording him and looks towards his direction. It begins to move away and we can see its head resembling that of an ape. When the man zoomed in, we can see that the creature is bipedal and didn't go down on fours, confirming that it wasn't an ape. This is perfect evidence of the entailed Bigfoot. Although by watching this video once again, it is kind of creepy since one doesn't know the intentions of this creature. A 
A trail camera happens to catch an amazing footage in the middle of the night amongst the trees. An alligator walks up in front of the camera and, as though it had a long day's work, proceeds to settle on the ground and take its rest. A few minutes later, a doe appears in the vicinity and happens to take notice of the alligator sleeping. Not wanting to cause any disturbance, it walks away in the opposite direction. As it walked away, it seemed to have made some sound since the alligator notices it. It looked to be disturbed and lets out a small hiss to scare it off. It fades off to sleep, and on the next day, it is seen strolling around continuing with its hunt. In this video, a man decided to film a skunk ape while in Lettuce Lake Conservation Park. In between the trees was a figure moving slowly, heading toward the person's right side. The video isn't clear as the creature appears to walk on both four limbs, but as the footage continues, the creature is seen standing and walking on two legs. It casually crosses the swamp, and you can hear the water splashing. It appears to be taller than the man and covered with fur. It could be the famed skunk ape, the Florida Bigfoot known to be the cousin of the Bigfoot. The skunk ape is often reported to be smaller in stature compared to traditional descriptions of Bigfoot. It is named for its foul odor, often described as being similar to a skunk. During the day, in what appears to be a slope covered with thickets and bushes, a man records what he encountered from behind one of the bushes. As the video begins, we are not able to make out what the man intended for us to see, but he moves the camera to the right and zooms in, and we are able to see a small figure standing out behind a bush. It has an abnormal small head, small neck, and small arms. Although we can't see its torso, the creature is something out of this world, maybe an alien. It was looking around as though searching for something. As it looked around, we were able to see its huge black eyes. The man could have come across an alien that has found its way to Earth, or this footage could be actually edited to create confusion. A trail cam set up by an outdoors company captured an incredible sight of a pack of wolves running through the Canadian woods on a snowy day. They seem to be chasing after something. Wolves tend to stay in packs of four to nine members, although some have been known to briefly get to 30 before. They split into smaller packs. So while this one isn't breaking any records, it's still way above average especially considering there's no pups in sight and each one looks fully mature and ready to kill. A lone animal happens to meet head-on with the pack. It could be in for a rough ride since wolves are ruthless in nature, considering their prowess in hunting. I don't know where this footage comes from, but I have to say, it is the clearest footage of Bigfoot I have seen in a long time. The person filming seems to have caught a glimpse of the well-known Sasquatch taking a stroll through the forest. The characteristics are as we would expect. A tall, sturdy humanoid full of hair while being able to walk normally on two legs. But I need to be skeptical as well, as I think the arms are too short compared to other more reliable descriptions I have heard of this beast. It is known that Bigfoot would have way longer arms than a normal human. So could this footage be just someone dressed in a very well-made costume? What do you think? Whatever the origin of this video, it makes for one hell of a good story. The unsuspecting hero takes us on a point of view journey as he rides through the woods at dusk. Within moments he says that there are more bones than last time scattered along the trail. We catch a glimpse of some of the bones for a fleeting moment, supposedly from predators in these woods, but it seems he is familiar with this, sounding like he's been there before. Oh god, there's even more bones than last time. It's getting dark, 
so I am sure all this guy wants is to get home. He comes to a fork in the trail, and as if on cue, the almost continuous soundtrack of birds, insects, wind, and the natural world just stop. Silence. Something catches the corner of his eye, a little way up the right-hand side path. Two glowing eyes, pale corpse-like skin, withered and terrifying. He is immediately terrified and tries his best to start the bike so he can get out. This guy has set up a camera in his bedroom because he always wakes up with an unsettling feeling that someone is watching him. In the morning when he watches the recording he sees this. A small figure can be seen bending over the bed. At first I thought that might have been his kid, but they claim he has no kid and is alone at home. So what exactly was that? An alien, a cryptid or just a glitch of the camera? Known at the Patterson Gimlin film, this short motion picture, captured in 1967, claims to be actual footage of Bigfoot. Shot in North Carolina, the film has seen many attempts to both authenticate or debunk it. Patterson became obsessed with the abominable snowman after reading an article in True Magazine in 1959. Years later, Patterson would invest thousands of dollars in combing Sasquatch territory much to the ridicule of skeptics around him. Armed with a deep desire to be the first to provide scientific evidence that the creature really existed. Eventually, he did, but many are skeptical about the authenticity of the footage, which is in part related to differing accounts from both Patterson and his guide Gimlin on what exactly went down on the day they saw Bigfoot. However, Patterson maintained the footage was real up until his death. This version is the stabilized version, giving us a clearer view and we can say that the Sasquatch in Patterson's film has all the traits we've come to know of the creature, the almost cone-shaped head, the dark fur, and the statue skews kite. The creature slows its pace and looks at the camera before moving off into the woods. Nowadays, with advances in technology and the ability to record high-quality videos on cell phone cameras, Hardly any of the recent footage available provides as clear a shot of Bigfoot as this one does. Is that because it's a hoax? Or has the creature just become more reclusive and camera shy? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. For some reason, this couple has installed a camera in their bedroom, and we can immediately see something strange. The door opening on its own, but also something scurrying across the floor the guy's hands start to lift as if manipulated by some force. I am not sure if this is all fake, but if it's not I can't imagine how someone would not feel this and awake. Is this the work of a playful spirit or just a man stretching in his sleep? You be the judge. The poster of the video claims that a woman bringing in groceries was disturbed by her daughter pointing out a creepy figure in the distance. The dog catching sight of the human-shaped silhouette begins to growl before running off to get a closer look. But then he stops in his tracks, unwilling to venture further. Whatever it is, it doesn't move. It just stands there watching like a psychopath. Is it human? Something else, a trick of light and the position of a branch. Either way, at no point does she make any attempt to get her dog or herself inside to safety. A street camera captures this compelling footage of a ghostly figure jaywalking. The black shadow is clearly seen crossing the street in a parking lot despite an oncoming car. The vehicle collides with the entity, who disappears from view. The concerned driver immediately stops the car to see where whatever he hit went. There is nothing there, whatever it was simply vanishes from sight. There isn't too much information provided with the original video, 
or where it took place, which might be one way of piecing together the story behind what happened here. This person is stumbling through the forest at night. It is unclear why this would ever be a good idea. As soon as the night turns pitch black, they spot something terrifying. A creepy pale and corpse like humanoid appears to be hunched over something. It lets out a weird cry, kind of like a baby, if a baby were a grown man. Or a goat with sore throat. I'm intrigued that the camera person didn't turn to run at this point. In numerous videos, this particular type of cryptid is often captured still or moving very slowly. Is it something to fear or is it afraid of us? And how did the cameraman get out of this situation? A playful entity resembling a figure of light shimmies down a street lamp, dances the running man, and then seems to hopscotch its way to the right of the screen. Folklore often speaks of a will-o'-the-wisp, which appears as an atmospheric ghost light often seen by travelers at night and usually located near bogs and marshes, not, as in this instance, at the local parking lot. Known by a variety of names, the Hinky Punks being another one of them, it is said to mislead travelers by resembling a flickering lamp or lantern. In urban legends, folklore, and superstition, they are typically believed to be ghosts, fairies, or elemental spirits. In literature, a will-o'-the-wisp metaphorically refers to a hope, or a goal that leads one on but is impossible to reach, or it is something one finds strange or sinister. Modern science ascribes the phenomenon to bioluminescence caused by oxidation of organic decay. Either way, it is quite magical. A curious visitor peeps in at the window. I've watched this video a few times, and with each shift in focus, another probability emerges. Is it a little gray man on his first abduction mission? Or is it a black cat? The enhanced replay with more light seems to reveal a hairy humanoid creature covered in fur or leaves with two glowing eyes that remains all but camouflaged in the dark. Let us know what you see. Wrong answers only. In the following footage, a guy describes seeing an unidentifiable creature near his fence. While recording, he captures an eerie scream emanating from the forest just beyond his property. The sound is quite terrifying, but is closely followed by a kind of bellow which could be an animal in pain or the sound of deer or elk during rutting season. And... Did you hear that? I'm becoming increasingly convinced that living near the woods is a bad idea. Oh. This person is filming this through a window because they saw something terrifying moving slowly across their street. In a grainy footage, we can see them filming a small, white, slow-moving thing. It has the customary pale skin and elongated neck that has become common with these sightings. But unlike others, the torso is short and the creature is bipedal. This one is also smaller and shorter than others. It is clear based on the quality of the video that it has been zoomed in and that coupled with the angle is an important clue in this puzzle. Are we merely seeing an elderly person walking in their garden from a height? If you have any theories, let us know. This video claims to capture some kind of cryptid, but if the dark, blurry, zoomed in nature of it is anything to go by this really could be anyone's guess. To me, it looks like they stumbled upon a badger minutes after it captured its prey, which may explain why it didn't just run off. There also appears to be distinct markings or stripes on the creature's face, which leads me to believe it's an animal. Watch closely towards the end of the video when it's had enough of the car lights in its face and it turns to shuffle off. A distinct tail can be seen. There's a lot going on in this video. Two guys shooting the breeze while the driver motors at breakneck speed through a forest. 
his passenger captures the journey on video. Amongst the trees and only for a fraction of a second as they speed by, a bipedal creature with dark fur is spotted running. Is this really a creepy stroke of luck? Or an amateur filmmaker's first horror short? The dialogue itself seems pretty stylized and feels almost scripted. It's like, it's like I got a friend, uh, Jimmy. He's, uh, he's an alcoholic. Let's watch that again in slow motion. What do you think? Is it real? It's that time of year again, when bucks gather in a show of who is the strongest to fight each other antler to antler in the hopes of securing their territory and the available females. Males need to choose their opponents wisely, not only for bragging rights, but to avoid severe injury or even death. Watching them go at it, I can only imagine this must be fighting where your weapon of choice is the end of a hat stand. The somewhat choreographed display is accompanied by a series of vocalizations and the final stages, with their antlers locked into position, they will begin pushing each other in a display of dominance until tired out or injured. In this video, a father and his young son bond on a nature walk. They also experience a moment of terror that will scar that kid for life. We'll ignore the fact that Pops is too busy with his camera to fully pay attention to his child stomping on thin ice. Dad then hears something and with his zoomed in, extremely poor quality cell phone camera, runs to investigate where he claims to have spotted a possible Sasquatch. If you watch this video enough times and stare repeatedly in the general direction of where his camera is facing a shape will become visible. Whether this is Bigfoot, one guy's trip on opioids, or your deep desire to see the point of his terror is entirely up to you. Lots of cool things live in caves such as bats, spiders, and blind salamanders with freakishly pale blue and pink transparent skin, as well as the occasional grizzly bear. But I have never seen such a thing. It is unclear where these caves are, which is a pity because I'd like to avoid them. The precise size of the creature is also difficult to ascertain given the angles, but it seems to compare with an alligator. But then again, who wants to stick around for photographs with that snapping at your heels? If you can identify what this is, let us know in the comments. Look, we get it. Not everyone likes media attention or a camera in their face. Especially this grumpy badger running from the paparazzi. Let me tell you something. Badgers are aggressive. They bite. They also prey upon gophers and squirrels and have been known to attack domestic animals too. Though usually not aggressive unless provoked, their ferocious teeth and sharp claws make them a formidable animal in the wild. A trail cam captures a black bear mother and her two cubs. They will stay with her for around one to three years, where she will teach them all about what it takes to survive in the wild. These bears are excellent swimmers, and their nails can grow as long as a blackboard eraser. A rather demure cow moose spots the camera and comes in for a closer look. These creatures prefer cold climates and females can weigh in at a hefty 700 pounds. They are also able to kick in any direction with their front hooves. Squirrels and hares are not usually prone to hating on each other, but every now and then a squirrel with a chip on its shoulder, or possibly rabies, will step out of his lane and go for gold. Watch as this timid hare is propelled into flight when his assailant comes tearing out of the bushes. All species of deer have a range of vocalizations. Anything from barking, grunting, snorting, bleeding, bellowing, or in this instance, screaming. 
There are two possible reasons for this particular vocal, which is reminiscent of Mariah Carey on her self-titled album of 1990. Either it's calling a mate or it's realized it is in terrible danger. Nighttime security footage is always fascinating because visibility is often poor and there's often no sound so you pretty much need to figure out what happened based entirely on what you see. Unless there's a first-hand account, this guy has been alerted to a noise. He appears armed with nothing but a flashlight. Scanning the dark, something or someone suddenly rises over the wall. It happens for only a fraction of a second and the visibility is so poor that the figure appears as more of a shape than something with definable features. In terror, he stumbles back, falling on the floor. Notice how he's doing his utmost to ensure that the light stays on. Who or what is the shadowy intruder? A burglar? A neighbor playing a prank? Or something more sinister? The middle of who knows where. A car is parked somewhere dark and deserted. A woman speaks to something in the shadows that her flashlight is focused on. I can see you. A few glowing eyes are visible, some too far apart to be human. What are there? Animals? Pranksters in Halloween costumes? Something peers out from behind a bush? And then we see it, the familiar balloon-shaped head and those impossibly large and terrifying obsidian eyes. The strange-looking entity turns to show itself in profile. Its body in the light seems freakishly flat and one-dimensional. The footage ends as bizarrely as it started. Pity they couldn't get some kind of dialogue going. A trail camera picks up an unusual sight of a creature fumbling with the camera. Only fur from the animal can be seen. The creature had come around and spotted the camera and perhaps out of curiosity, it tries to figure what the object is. In the process it reveals its face and we can see it's a bear. The bear, with its large paws and inherent wilderness, inadvertently damages the camera as it forcefully rips it off, showcasing its inability to handle delicate objects. A drone captures the following footage in Tennessee. Some very large deciduous trees are being violently shaken by something or someone. Some have suggested that it's the wind, but the area is concentrated and so that doesn't seem likely. One possibility is that a crew of tree fellers are working down there, and the trees are being felled with ropes. But from this angle and the fleeting moments where spaces between the trees are visible, I am unable to detect any human. Felling trees of this size would also require some kind of mechanical equipment. Someone said that a tiger cat feller, Buncher is compact and powerful enough to uproot these trees. Presumably it too would be visible, and isn't. Some have claimed to see a large, dark figure, but only fleetingly, suggesting that what is causing the commotion is not human, after all, but a Sasquatch, violently shaking the tree to prove its prowess, mark territory, or capture prey. It's a pity that whoever captured this footage didn't think to fly in closer and confirm what caused the phenomenon for once and for all. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you want to see more interesting footage, then watch this.